This is an overview of the Jamcat jamming adapter. This is an adapter which uh, will take the standard audio output from a two-way transceiver and then uh, turn it into a, a jamming transmitter when it detects a valid signal. It works by uh, tapping the speaker output through a standard uh, eighth inch jack and running into a op amp with a slight gain. The uh, output of the op amp goes through two back-to-back -back diodes where the audio signal is then clipped. It's then um, amplified again by another op amp, very slightly, and uh, goes through two more back-to-back -back diodes. Um, by this point, the audio signal is basically a square wave, and another op amp then is configured as a precision half-wave uh, rectifier to clip just the positive going aspect of the square wave. So you essentially have a positive going pulse on the detection of a uh, valid uh, audio signal. That positive going pulse then triggers a uh, 555 timer, a monostable configuration that uh, with a variable uh, pulse delay, which is configurable from the uh, front panel the delay uh, potentiometer. This pulse from the uh, 555 timer triggers a relay, and uh, the relay controls the PTT control, which then goes to the uh, microphone control on your jamming transceiver. Uh, most common uh, two-way or amateur radios are keyed to ground if you want them to transmit, and uh, using the relay is just a hard way of uh, grounding that uh, control signal. This example. We're going to jam 146.52 megahertz. Connect our audio input to a standard eighth inch jack to the uh, speaker output on our transceiver. The uh, microphone input is a standard 332nd inch jack. And that goes to the PTT control on our Jamcat adapter here. Um, again, you have to set your squelch really tight because a uh, noise burst and stuff will also trigger the jamming transceiver and uh, you don't want that. You want just valid signals, otherwise it would always be transmitting. It could potentially give away your location. There is a uh, noise generator based on a Zener diode that also helps to uh, mask your uh, jamming transmissions in certain aspects. This receiver will be tuned to our frequency so we can hear what happens. Right now I have the uh, internal noise generator is on. That's powered up. Now if I key an external radio, you can hear it key. Oh, that noise you hear is the internal noise generator. Here I'll flip it to... You can, I have an external option where you can add external noise when I don't have a, any tone generator hooked up to it. It's just a CW carrier. So what I'm doing, I'm keying an external off-camera radio. It's being detected by this transceiver. The audio output is then keying the, receiver, the transmitter portion of this radio and you're hearing it on this uh, external uh, receiver over here. I'll do it again. I have the noise generator turned it back on. I'll cut the delay down. The, this is the transmit delay. It tells you how long it's going to transmit for. I'll key it up again. So essentially what we're doing is uh, any detected activity at this test frequency, 146.52 megahertz in this case, would automatically uh, cause the jamming transceiver to key up and override that transmission with the uh, noise masking. This is, of course, uh, very handy in uh, tactical tactical applications. Military type stuff is often used for, uh, you know, battlefields or, uh, you know, stuff like that. I'll set the delay. There is a, if you set the delay too low, I think it starts to, the relays start to chatter. So you gotta back it up just a bit. I have a green LED 
lights whenever it uh, keys up the transmitter. I'll increase the delay again. Try that. Oops. All right, that's it.